Hey everyone, uh, this is Finding Value. Uh, I was doing some research to see just where this uranium bull market could start. Uh, I know we've got a lot of interest on, a lot of, uh, on this channel with a lot of uranium uh, bulls out there. So I wanted to get a little bit more clear, you know, clarity on when this uranium bull market could start. I'm looking at this uh, article. It was written in July, uh, end of July. Uh, I just wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, here it says a uranium, uh, a bull market is underway. And what it's talking about is the growing uranium supply deficit uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic has, has accelerated the deficits, has pulled them forward because production's gone offline. And what I was looking here is uh, the four uranium mines in question include Cigar Lake Mine in Canada, suspended on 23rd of March. Uh, another mi two mines in Nambia, uh, suspended on 28th of March, and a Kazakhstan-based Kazakhstan's suspension of operations on April 7th. Uh, so we've got some mine closures here. It says that the spot market obviously had, had gone up. Uh, it says driving and tightening the supply with about six to seven percent of total global production coming offline, and that's quite substantial. Uh, the uranium mar market has not been in favor of producers, uh, but the shorter term fundamentals of a tighter market is starting to favor producers, uh, which may bode well for the uranium price over the medium to long term. Uh, and if we look down here, it says. Red Cloud Securities forecasted a future deficit in the uranium market of 31 million pounds by 2022, which is right around the corner. Uh, a several, several mines reaching end of life starting in 2021. It did not predict an almost 13 pound, million pound and growing deficit as soon as 2020. So they predicted a 31 million pound by 2022 because of some of these you know, ending at 2021. But in their model, they did not predict the 13 million pound and growing deficit as soon as 2020, which we have. So this bull market could get kicked off sooner and could be right around the corner. Uh, we've got additional mine closures, such as the 9 million pound Olympic Dam mine in South Australia uh, and longer mine suspensions due to COVID-19 could push the spot price higher. Uh, closer toward the long-term price. Uh, it notes that 37% of U.S. uranium requirements are uncovered. They don't have contracts, which equates to 17 million pounds or 9% of global demand, uh, with typical delivery on long-term contracts being usually two years. This trend suggests that nuclear energy utilities need to be aggressive with new long-term contracts, particularly in light of the expected supply deficit of 31 million pounds in 2022. So what does this all mean? It means that we've got a bull market that could be coming very soon within a couple of years. It means that these deficits are going to be coming probably beginning of 2022. This gives us a year to prepare, roughly a year to prepare for this. Look at some of my videos on some of the, the companies that I recommend. There is a company that I released. I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but it is a very good company. It's called Encore Energy, E-N-C-U-F. There's a lot about that company that I go over in that video. I will link it in, in the description below uh, that you should probably watch. Yeah, it's important because I do think that this is probably the strongest company there is out there in the uranium sector. I think you have to get a little money in there. I'm going to be charting these things on my market updates. You should subscribe to the channel if you want to see those market updates to try to time your purchasing uh, as best you can. Obviously, no one's perfect, but I try to time my purchases when, when the stock is as cheap as it can get. Uh, and it's actually kind of cheap right now on court. We've had, you know, it's had a little pullback. Uh, so you should, you should watch that video. And uh, this is finding value. Hopefully this bull market kicks, you know, gets kick started here shortly in the next six months to a year. Uh, I'll be riding it along with everyone else that's on this channel. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Thank you.